Hey, this is Susanna Williams, and it is the new year, and we are all trying to um, up-level our life in some way, and to, um, a lot of us are trying to become more organized. Now, I'll give you two of my goals this year. One is that I actually have to get up. Now, this is going to sound, um, anyway, I'm not going to say what it's going to sound, but um, I can do a lot on my computer, and I can... You know, I work on my computer, I track my children's schoolwork on my computer, so I can, um, I educate myself on my computer, I do family history, and so I can do a lot on my computer, which can mean I can sit for a very, very long time on my computer without moving, which is not good. Like, um, anyway, and I was just thinking back to when I was in high school, um, many years ago, and how we, how... You, you only sat for like 50 minutes in the class and then you would have to like walk 10 minutes to your next class. And usually you're walking pretty fast to get to your next class or walking with someone anyway. And how that just kept us up and moving. So one of my goals for this year was to be up and moving at least 10 minutes out of every hour. Anyway, and so, um, okay, so you know I have like nine children and I don't like to do any of my children's chores. So I'm not going to do, like, I could definitely get up and, like, clean some type of that, some part of the house because there's always some part of the house to clean. But um, I'm not going to do anyone else's chores. And so, because I want them to learn to do it themselves, right? So anyway, I thought, okay, I'm just going to organize things that really aren't assigned to anyone, which means, like, drawers and closets and everything else. So today, I thought, I'll, I'll just organize that. We just call it the junk drawer. I know that's a horrible name to call it. We should call it the office drawer. Anyway, so I thought, so I looked in it, and um, I wish I would have taken, like, a before photo of it. Uh, now I'm going to have to start doing that as I'm organizing different things, which I might um, do some lives on. Anyway, but, um, so... I decided to organize these drawers and okay, I'm going to flip the camera. Hold on. How do okay, flipping the camera. Okay. So, so here is my my office drawer. Um formerly called my drunk drawer. And I just ran like I'm like talking to my husband and I'm like, "Look it. I used to have like these organizers over here which were really pretty. Um super super pretty. I think my sister bought them um or my mom. I don't know. Anyway, but they were super pretty organizers, but they were just so long. And so they used to, they would just get full of, of every, you can see, like, this is like a hodgepodge of things, right? So anyway, I talk, started talking to my husband and I'm like, honey, I just need some organizers because I just want our office drawer to, to look, be organized and not to have everything get into every other little bin. And so he looked up something on on probably Amazon and he found this really um, fun thing where you can make the containers any size and I might put that onto um, the comments if I you know if I can find it again anyway but I decided you know but it was like $22 and I'm like I don't want to spend $22 organizing my office drawer so basically what I did is I headed down to the dollar store. Now, the dollar store is not really my um, the, a store that I've spent very much time in in the past, um, unless we're like getting balloons or something like that. But one of my favorite people online when it comes to organizing, oh, hold on, let me, you, oh, I'm gonna flip this again. Anyway, one of the one of my favorite people online when it comes to organizing is this woman. I don't know what her name actually is, but her name is she runs like the Clutterbug Facebook and YouTube channel. Like I love what she does. And she basically um organizes people into four different bugs. Like some people um like to see all their stuff. They don't like to put anything away because they like to see all their stuff. And um I think that's called Oh my gracious, I don't even know. I'm going to maybe, anyway. And then there's a, someone else that's called like a butterfly and they go from um, project to project and project. So they like to have a lot of their projects out. Well, anyway, this room, this woman um, teaches you to identify what type of person you are and to organize according to who you are. And I can't remember what type of bug I am according to her organizing um tips, but definitely I like to be able to see 
at a glance what I have because I like my stuff and so I like to be able to see. So hold on, I'm going to flip the camera again. Okay, flipping the camera again. So basically I headed down to the dollar store. Um, they had a ton of fine containers. I measured my drawer first, first to see what I wanted and I knew kind of what I wanted to keep in my drawer. So here we go. I have my pencils, my pens, um, my color pencils. Um, basically these little containers right here, I have four of these containers. Um, they were a dollar for two, so like 50 cents a piece. So that was like two dollars for those four. And then these things came right here in three dollar, I mean a dollar for all three. And um, it's like my scissors you can see. Anyway, and then they have these cute little containers, um, which little size containers is what they said. This is, um, anyway their label. Anyway, but they have these cute little containers. So now I have my crayons in a cute little container. And um like um hardware, like nails and stuff like that. And my chalk and my tape measure, like I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some um like safety pins and stuff like like needles and thread, you know, like a little sewing kit, whatever. Um, we have birthday candles. I don't know why we keep them in this drawer, but we do. And so now they are completely organized. And um, erasers in our office drawer. And staples aren't going to be in here, but I thought I'm going to head back to the dollar store. And I'm like, what, what can I put right here? And they didn't really have something right here. But as I'm measuring these things, I can put like another one of these like right there. And I actually could. Like, I don't know if it would fit... Would it close if I, like, look it, I can, I can put three, I can stack three of these little organizers in this fun little tote and then probably have, like, another two here if I needed to. So, I'm thinking that my office drawer, and I like, I like alternating them just because I think it looks cuter, but I am thinking that my office drawer, hopefully for 2021, will stay organized Honestly, so what did this drawer cost me? It cost me one, two, three, four, five, four, five, and I'm gonna go and get two more of these um three four dollar um ones in blue and and pink. So five, what's gonna cost me? It's gonna cost me seven dollars total to to organize my office drawer. So this so, again. So um, anyway, if you have organizing tips, go ahead, like shoot a video of yourself and then tag me in it. I'm totally trying to get my house organized this year. As I'm coming up with things that I think that are great for organizing, I will, um, I will shoot videos too. And so that you can see how to definitely organize. Anyway, so I want to just thank Victor and Lori for hopping on and seeing what is mom or what is my friend doing? Yes, I'm organizing. I'm shooting my chips out to the world, letting my light shine in 2021. Okay, um, I will definitely put on the link for the clutter bug so you can see what in the world I'm talking about when it comes to organizing and your personal style of organizing. I love, love, love the clutter bug YouTube channel, so I'm going to definitely put the link on that for you. And um, hope you all have a good day. This is Suzanne Williams with Living the Wholesome Life. Yep, I do have a YouTube channel. Go look at Living the Wholesome Life Old and you can see some of the other clips that I've done. Okay, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.